Hey everyone, this is Dama. Today I have a new video for you guys. It's been a while, but it's something that I've been wanting to show you guys for a while just because I have had two bamboos for a long time now and they had a couple of babies and it was just time to propagate them. So I have three new babies. It's super easy to do if you've never done it. Anyone can do it. So if you guys want to see how I did it step by step, make sure to keep on watching. So these are the two lucky bamboos that I'm going to be propagating. Excuse for the noise, I am outside. So this one is definitely longer than this one. I've had this one for about three years, this one for about two years. And this one's getting a little bit limp already. Um, I feel like it may be just because it these are really, really long already. And they need to obviously be propagated. So I'm going to be doing that. They have no water in their little planters. So I'm going to be splitting all these little babies a little closer. Um, so yeah, first remove all the water. You don't even have to have them in the planters, but I did want to show you how they were before in their little planters. So this is how the root looks like. It's really bright and red. As you can see, both of them are really, really nice and red. This one has a lot of root already. So that may be, um, I'm not sure why this one's too limp, but I think it's time for me to split them. I do have some cutting um, shears. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. And I'm gonna cut them straight as possible. So I've already cut this one. and definitely clean them up. I've already moved, removed all these leaves already, but if you do have them, make sure to do that because you will be submerging the bottom in water. And I'm gonna cut this one. And again, I'm gonna be removing all these leaves. So I'm gonna be removing these yellow ones. be removing a little more from this one and this one as well so now we're going to be focusing with the parent bamboos and now we're going to be cutting where that baby came out so this node I'm going to be cutting straight across so next one the next baby will come from this one so um, I have this really sharp knife and I do it with a knife just because it is going to be cleaner this way. Okay, that was better. Now I'm going to be cutting this one. So this one already gave, this note already had a, a baby, this one as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here. So these are the nodes that I've already removed and these are good to go now. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these and all the new bamboos I'm also going to be planting. And you can use rocks, you can use like these as well, you can use uh, marbles or you can even use the aquarium rocks as well, whatever you prefer, whatever you have. This is what I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and seal the end of my bamboo. And this is just a candle and I had it lit. So all I'm going to do is dip it in there. And that's fine. I'm going to do the same to the other. So now I'm just gonna put my little bamboo in my little coffee cup or your little pot and just put in your rocks, whatever you're putting in there, your marbles, just to kind of center it. This one doesn't really need much work because it's already, the roots have already shaped to the cup. So this one's good to go. My wax is dry now. And just up to the rocks, so this one's good to go. Now I'm gonna do my oldest bamboo. Just gonna put them in there. 
at all my rocks. Just like that. And this is regular drinking water that I put into my bamboo. I've always just put drinking water. So this one as well is good to go. Now I have my three new ones. I'm gonna gift. I'm gonna gift two of them away. So I don't know if I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm gonna put this one in there. So this one's good to go as well. I'm gonna put some water in it. So now I'm gonna do these two longer ones. I'm gonna put all these just because I have them. So this is how it looks and I'm just gonna put some water in it. And they are all good to go. So these are all the bamboos that I have. These are the parents. These are the three new ones. And they're super, super cute. And again, I'm going to be gifting two of these. This one's super cute. I really like this little container that I put it in. So this is how it looks up close. And the inside of them. So these are my super cute bamboos. Um, I bought the oldest one that I have about three years ago at the swap meet and I think it was like a dollar. Um, so try to go to places like that. I know Walmart had some as well and the 99 cent store as well if you guys kind of want to start it. Um, so they are very, very, very easy to take care of. All you need to do is put some little rocks, some water, and the hardest part is just to keep them hydrated. Make sure that their water is clean because sometimes it does get a little bit yucky. So make sure to always keep them clean. I try to swap their water at least two, once every two weeks. And they're super cute. I love how they look just because they're really green and they add a lot to like my bedroom. I don't like my bedroom just to be like super like not have any plants so I always try to have some plants in my bedroom and if you guys have any bamboos that you've split um, by watching this video make sure to let me know down below and also follow me on all my social media at lamavi425 on Instagram I post a lot on Instagram Facebook so just let me know down below if you guys do this and again Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.